Tsunami alerts are still in place today across the Pacific after an 8.8 magnitude quake struck yesterday off the coast of Russia. Scientists say strong aftershocks could be expected for months to come. Live to Stash Butler, he's in Taipei for us. So uh, how are authorities in Asia responding to the tsunami threat? Stash? Well, Pete, uh, authorities here in Taiwan have uh, downgraded, removed the tsunami alert that was put in place yesterday after that enormous quake struck off the coast of uh, Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. The actual, they were warning here of waves of up to around a meter high. In the end, what materialized was a wave only 12 centimeters high. So I think people here certainly are counting their blessings. In the Philippines, too, the uh, alert has been lifted. Uh, also, in much of, uh, much of the U.S., the advisory, the tsunami advisory has been lifted in Hawaii, where waves reached uh, just under two meters uh, high at their highest, and also along uh, much of the U.S. Pacific coast. But it remains in effect in Japan, where authorities uh, uh, have downgraded it from a warning to an advisory, but saying that they want to keep that in place while they monitor the situation uh, this morning. We also know that across the Pacific, essentially the, the furthest point that this tsunami could reach, the, so therefore it's going to take the longest in, uh, in South America. Warnings remain uh, much in, in places there too, including in Chile. But I think overall, uh, Russian authorities saying they've reported no deaths from this earthquake. People will be really quite pleased with how the results of this have gone on, given that uh, from what we've seen, uh, some sides of one is just saying this could be the sixth, joint sixth largest earthquake ever recorded, Pete. So uh, mm. all in all, I think we're seeing these, this caution remaining because of the ongoing risk of some large waves. But overall, I think people slowly starting to return to normal as the threat subsides. All right. Stash Butler, thank you.